What's going on guys, it's Valence and I'm back in another video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can overclock your monitors to increase your refresh rate. Today's sponsor is VPN, the number one VPN service. This VPN service is only $1.67 a month. This includes unlimited traffic and bandwidth. This includes 10 simultaneous connections, 50 locations and over 2,500 VPN servers. This VPN has no activity logs no connection logs, so you guys will be 100% secure. This also includes bank level 256-bit encryption and offers 24-7 multi-language customer support and has a 95% customer satisfaction. With this VPN, you guys can access any content you want freely with this VPN. This VPN is easy to use with a one-click setup and keeps all your information encrypted and secure. This VPN is available for all platforms, so it doesn't matter if you guys are on iOS, Windows, Android, Linux, Apple TV, Google Chrome, you guys can install it on all those things. So make sure you guys head on over and download VPN today. Links will be in the description below. So before this tutorial starts, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. And it will be awesome if you guys can also hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video like this. So with that said, we're gonna start the tutorial. So you guys know about those high refresh rate monitors which are like 240 Hz, 144 Hz. And if you guys are at home and you guys are stuck with 60 Hz, this is a quick solution for you guys. So this is gonna allow you guys to overclock your monitor's refresh rate and get more out of it. So most of you guys at home will have 60 Hz. And once you guys overclock it, some of you guys may get up to 80 Hz or maybe 90 Hz. So this is worth a try because it's free and that's all. This may lower your monitor's lifespan, so do this at your own risk. If you guys don't want to damage your monitor too much, or if you guys are afraid, you guys can you guys can change back the refresh rate when you guys are off the game. And then if you guys decide to play Fortnite again, then you can just turn it back on. So the first part is I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if you guys are on Nvidia. And then the second part is gonna be for everyone else like AMD or Intel. So let's jump into the tutorial. So first, you guys just need to go on your desktop and right click and go to NVIDIA control panel. Once it opens up, go to change resolution. It's under the display tab. Once you guys are here, scroll down and go to customize. Make sure this is checked, enable resolutions not exposed by the display, and then click on this box. Now you guys will see this window, and this is where you guys change your refresh rate. So right now it's on 60. So the way you guys overclock this is you guys go up by one or two each time so you guys can see how far your monitor can go. The way you guys know if you went too far is if you guys put in a value and pressed on test and then your screen went black, that's how you know that refresh rate is too high for your monitor. So after a few seconds, like 10 seconds, it's gonna, it's gonna revert back to the previous refresh rate that you set. So we're gonna start testing it. So since it's at 60, we're gonna try 61. And then we're, we're going to click on test. And if you see your screen right now, then it means it worked. So once you guys played with that and you have all your resolutions and refresh rates set, now you guys will be able to see them in your refresh rate drop down menu. So these are my refresh rates. And I'm going to click on 144 hertz and click on apply. And now my monitor is in 144 hertz. This is because my monitor is a 144 hertz monitor. So for me, since I'm at 144 hertz, I can overclock it to 165 hertz. So if you guys are on 60 hertz, the safest refresh rate I would do is around 75 to 80, nothing higher than 100, and you guys should be good. Now we're gonna go on to AMD and Intel users. So in the description, you're gonna find a download link for this file. Just extract the folder, and once you guys finished, you guys will have this. Open it up and click on CRU. Once you guys are in here, make sure you selected your monitor and click on add. And you guys can start changing your monitor's resolution and refresh rate. Right here is where you can start changing it. So you can change the values to like 65, 70. You just keep increasing them. And once you guys are finished from here, just click on OK and it should and it should set your resolutions and refresh rate. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a like on the video.